So we're coming around the corner and we listen from the radio that is, we're coming to this water pan that's called Ingwe Pen. And they call us in to come and have a look with this because there's a few animals. And as we start driving down the road, we come upon this beautiful clan of ahinas, probably about six or seven of them. And first off, with the first ahina that we see, we see a belly is quite wide and we can see a bit of the utters as well. And my first instinct is that this might be very well a pregnant female. And as we're busy driving and starting to follow them, but I see but there's two or three females and the bellies are quite nice and white and they're hanging low. And then all of a sudden, one of the young males comes running around with a big warthog skull inside of his mouth. So there's other two things that could have happened. One, the ahinas could have made a warthog kill and they were feeding and we just got the last part where they came in towards Ingwe Pan to come and have a drink of water. Or as well, what could have happened is, and this is where hyenas comes in of being scavengers, it is very possible that a leopard made a kill on a warthog, the hyenas picked it up and then they came and they stole the warthog away from the, from the leopard. And this is why hyenas are one of our scavengers, but they do not always scavenge. If the possibility and the option is there for them to hunt, they will definitely work together as a group and go and make a kill for themselves as well. But seeing them running around with the warthog skull and it was quite a big male as well, you could see the tusks. So that was quite a, it was a wonderful way of starting off with some morning safari.